On June 15th, we've been recognized by the Environmental Protection Agency with an Energy Star Award for our combined heat and power plant for its high efficiency and low emissions performance. This natural gas fired cogeneration facility provides about 85% of the campus's annual electricity needs and we capture the waste heat off of the process to provide about 95% of the campus heating and cooling needs. So we call our plant a cogeneration facility or combined heat and power because it takes one form of energy in the form of natural gas and we convert it into two forms of useful energy. One is electricity and the other is steam that we use for both heating and cooling the campus. The air conditioning component includes a 3.8 million gallon thermal energy storage tank which we fill at night with cold water to be used during the day, during the warmest parts of the day, to cool all of our campus buildings. By generating the chilled water at night and storing it in a thermal storage tank, we reduce our peak load by about 3 to 6 megawatts per day. Our plant has a net efficiency of about 66 percent, and what this results in is a bottom line savings to the campus in about $670,000 a month. Okay, so the efficiencies of our CHP system not only reduce the bottom line operating expenses to the campus, it also helps the environment by reducing carbon dioxide emissions. We've measured this at an estimated 82,500 tons a year of CO2, which is equivalent to about 13,700 passenger vehicles. The EPA award describes the impressively low emission levels of the nitrogen oxide pollutants as one of the lowest levels for cogeneration in the San Diego Air Pollution Control District. So it's an honor to receive this Energy Star Award, and we embrace the Energy Star program. About 95% of the university's appliances are Energy Star rated. So we began operating the facility in 2001, and it's comprised of two 13.5 megawatt gas turbine generators. Uh, the generators are made right here in San Diego by solar turbines. So the central plant control room is really the hub of all the energy information on campus. We can monitor the cogeneration plant, all the building energy use, the 1.2 megawatts of solar. With all the information from all the energy systems coming back to one central hub is going to allow us to optimize our smart grid. We're going to be able to control all of our assets, look at real-time pricing, look at renewable components, and integrate them all in the most effective way. So what is most significant about this plant is that for nine years it's been operating at a high efficiency, low emissions, and saving money. This recognition of the plant is yet another feature of the university's national leadership and sustainability.